spill your drink. Why didn't you just go home? May I? <laughs> How did you do it? What did you find? We can talk, or we can just get on with it. Find a photograph. No one is seeing well, of you in an Uppsala prep school blazer. What does that prove? It says you lied about where you were that day. Did I? Or rather, when. So what? People lie all the time. It also says that you and Lena Anderson were schoolmates. Lena. That was a long time ago. Where's this photo now? Is it with all the other crap on your there's desk? There's a copy on my laptop and there's another copy, copy on, on a secure a website. Secure website. <laughs> That's a lie. How much does the girl know? I hope it's as much as you do. I'll make it fun. Where is she? Stockholm. To win this morning. Well, that's a lie. She's at our offices looking at more old crap. I got a call from our archives manager. She was very perturbed with this girl, Lisbeth. I like that name, Lisbeth. So when Lisbeth leaves, I will get a call from security so I can be at your cottage to greet her. Can't thank you enough for bringing her to me. So, what do you want to know? You're a journalist, ask me questions. What do I do with the girls? That's a good question. Well, before I do what we're doing, sit down, relax, have a drink. I like that part a lot, having a chat with both of you now that one of you is going to die. And afterwards, I just get rid of them, far out of sea. I like my father. Left them scattered all over the place like trophies. That's not very smart if you ask me. He was a loud and garish man. Frankly, he got what he deserved. You can't be a sloppy technician like that. You can't drink to excess like he did. This takes discipline. It's a science of a thousand details. The planning, the execution, it's the cleanup. I guess I don't know how to tell you, but. You're going to create quite a mess. <laughs> Shh. 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 Let me ask you something. Why don't people trust their instincts? They sense something is wrong. Someone is walking too close behind them. You knew something was wrong. But you came back into the house. Did I force you? Did I drag you in? No. All I had to do was offer you a drink. It's hard to believe that fear of offending him is stronger than the fear of pain, but you know what? It is. And they always come willingly. And then they sit there. They know it's all over, just like you do. But somehow, they still think they have a chance. Maybe if I say the right thing. Maybe if I'm polite. If I cry, if I beg. And when I see the hope draining from their face like it is from yours right now, I feel myself getting hard. But you know, we're not that different, you and I. We both have urges. A satisfying mind requires more doubt.